In this video, I'm trying to explain why you need an M.2 SSD, especially you choose a MacBook or Mac Mini with a smaller memory settings. The most important reason, of course, is the money. Um, on Apple's website, you can see for a 2TB SSD storage, you need to pay extra $800. On the other hand, you can purchase a top-grade M.2 SSD for only around $190. You need an external case to use that M.2 SSD. Uh, again, I choose a, a top grade, you only pay around $150. So overall, for $300, you have a 2TB SSD um, and double the performance for what Apple comes with. That's already a very good reason for you to buy an M.2 SSD, but that's not all. As everything else, the SSD drive also has the lifespan. A quick search can show that uh, SSD has a lifespan of about 5 to 7 years. And uh, it's due to it has a finite number of write cycles, which means that over time, the drive may slow down and eventually fail. So what is a write cycle? As we can see here, a write cycle refers to the process of writing data to a memory cell in the flash drive. So each time data is, write, is written to a memory cell, it incurs a write cycle. And you can see here it says, the consumer grade SSD can handle between 3000 to 5000 write cycles, while the enterprise SSD can handle around 10,000 write cycles. Which means after that number, the SSD will become unreliable. Now we know that uh, SSD has a lifespan and have a limited write cycle. That now let's get back to the concept of using swap. So swap space allows the operating system to temporarily store data on the hard drive when physical memory is full. Store data on the hard drive means write data to the hard drive. It, in general, it is better to have enough physical memory to support the running applications and minimize the need for swap space. You can find the swap used on your computer by go to the activity monitor. As you can see here, uh, the swap user is zero bytes. Uh, that's because I have a 16 gigabytes memory. As you can see here, the memory currently used is more than 13 gigabytes. If my computer only have eight gigabytes memory, then it will need another five gigabytes swap uh, space to, to handle this 13 gigabytes memory usage. And those five extra gigabytes swap will contribute to the write cycles. But a consumer grade SSD can only handle between 3000 to 5000 write cycles. Is that enough? I will use this table to simulate a simplified version of the uh, write cycles. Let's assume we only have three cells in this hard drive. Uh, we're using green, blue, and red to represent them. And each cell only have three life cycles uh, for their lifespan. So the top table represents that every time we will use all three cells, as you can see, um, after three times the write, uh, we have used up the lifespan of the three cells. The table at the bottom represents that if we only write to two cells at a time, then we can actually extend the total lifespan to five writes instead of before we only have a three writes. So the computer actually using an algorithm to control which cells it will write. The um, computer will try to use the least used cell first. Um, so to avoid that you keep in writing to the same cells and then end up use up the that cell's life cycle. If your computer doesn't have enough memory, it will have to use in the swap, which will cost the lifespan of your disk cells. You can add an M.2 SSD and configure uh, to use the swap on that SSD 
to save your internal SSD's lifespan. And also by adding an M.2 SSD and running the application from it, it can also save the unnecessary writes to your internal SSD. And of course, the M.2 SSD has a lifespan as well, but we can swap it.